Hi everybody, and it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Tuesday, July 28th, 2015. And our first topic is an interesting one. There's a company called Hoyer, which later this year plans to release a controller for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 called the Tactical Assault Commander 4. What it is is a stripped down keyboard and a fully functional mouse. The DualShock 4's left stick is remapped to the arrow buttons, normally W, A, S, and D, and the right stick is remapped to the mouse uh, controls. As you can see, it features a D-pad, a PlayStation Home button, and it's backlit. What you may not be able to see is that there is a walk button as well as a sniping mode button, which probably re reduces the DPI on your mouse to improve for accuracy while shooting. There is no release date yet for the US, however it will release in the UK and in Japan and will cost somewhere between 120 and 130 US dollars. What do you think of this? Do you think this is uh, do you think PC controls should stay on PC? Do you think this is an abomination? Leave a comment below. Fallout 4's special edition contains a cell phone wrist mount that looks like a Pip-Boy. Bethesda has apparently gone back to the production factories to ask them to make more of them, and they have again and again and again. In fact, they say they have made more special editions of Fallout 4 than any other special edition game that they have released. They went back one more time to the factory to ask them to make more, and they were actually told no. There is no more time in the factory's production cycle to produce more Pip-Boys, so what's out is out that that's it they you know the company these factories have other orders to fill for other for other companies so if you're one of the lucky ones who got one of these badass collector's editions i am super super jealous please come over show me your pit boy capcom has offered beta access as a pre-order bonus for street fighter 5 well they've been having trouble keeping their servers stable it's is either due to bugs or just underestimation of load on the servers they've just been going up and down ever since it started well they capcom has now decided after just three days of testing to take the servers down completely i warned you didn't i warn you go go watch one of my old videos i warned you i don't i don't think pre-order access sh should be a pre-order bonus i i, I Pre beta testing should actually be able be available to everyone for free because essentially you're doing a favor for these companies. You're testing their game and their servers for free. All the while you're thinking it's a pre-order bonus or you're thinking it's just a bonus. It's not. This is work. A costume, a UI skin, extra in-game currency. These are pre-order bonuses. These aren't really even good pre-order bonuses. Back in my day, we used to get a game for pre-ordering another game. I got this game for pre-ordering this game. Okay? That's one hell of a pre-order bonus. We're not asking for that, but beta access? Please do not be upset if this is not what you expected. This is, this is what it is. Beta testing is work. Finally today... If you ha don't know what the Ouya is, I don't blame you. It's actually a micro console about the size of a tennis ball that runs an Android-based operating system. It was sort of an attempt to have a console that you could play at home, that you could play mobile games on, without having to deal with the awkward digital controls of a cell phone. It was released back in 2013 and immediately fell on its face. After releasing its thousandth game in November of 2014 last year, it was revealed that in April of 2015, they were trying to sell the company because of having because of failed renegotiating of a debt. Well, Razer just released information that they have bought Ouya's assets. This includes Ouya's library, but not the hardware. The hardware is unfortunately or fortunately going to be discontinued, depends on how you look at it. This means that Razer may actually enter the micro console uh, market. They definitely have the means to do it. They've got the development team. They've got the marketing team. They actually have a shot at it, at creating something that might be good for mobile gaming at home. And finally, on to tomorrow's game releases. For PC, we have Hush, Absolute Drift, and Magic Duels Origins. For Xbox One, we have King's Quest Chapter 1, A Night to Remember, and Squid Hero for Connect. Also, don't forget Windows 10 comes out tomorrow, so if you want to see a video on that, on how to install it off a USB drive, I should have that coming soon, I promise. So, thank you very much. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff, and I will see you tomorrow.
the hell? What the hell is this? The A B D B H H W seven six B Q X M Q N.